Hello all, the practitioner here again, Bachelor of Science student, Chemistry major, Mathematics minor, Magician and Parasite researcher. Um, I got an interesting comment on my last video response. Um, I, Of course, I didn't do quite as well, good of a job with my debunk as I could have. There were a couple of points I had to uh, reconsider later. But there was something that I did come across here. Um, comment, uh, the li latest comment I got was from a guy called Nemi Armstrong who said, I'd like to see repeat por re <coughs> Excuse me, choked on some air. Uh, I'd like to see a repeat performance demonstrating these cheats as psi. So it's fake, so recreate the uh, so recreate it using the methods of fakery. It would be lots of fun to watch. Okay. Well, Nemi Armstrong, this video is to uh, demonstrate that bet. Unfortunately, I'm out of tinfoil in the house, but I will work using the next best thing. A piece of paper shaped like a psi wheel which is actually about as heavy as said piece of tinfoil that they were working with earlier. So, let me demonstrate. I should mention as well that remember that um, the guy who I, uh, whose video I just debunked, uh, Merit Sulu, he had music on his video all the way through. That would block over a lot of effects like this. So now I'm going to demonstrate uh, one possibility. Okay, watch the... Uh, let me see if I can get the side wheel in view here. No, it's too close. Ah, frick. Let's actually bring that down a little further. Yeah, there it is. Now watch. See how easy that was? Now the question is, is how did I do it? And I'll, I'll tell you. I was breathing and I was moving my hands by it. Now the thing is, I breathed really, really lightly. I just went, I just went like, you see, like you didn't even hear that. A person could do that off camera or in camera, just go like, sorry. But you get the idea, like even even or even breathing through the nose, like even blowing down through the nose sometimes, if you angle it right, can actually do a lot of this stuff too. But the point, of course, is though is that even with that, uh, if you're not paying attention to his face, like you're going to be watching the side wheel every so often. All he requires is just a little quick breath every now and again. Um, on top of that, Meritsulu was paying, playing music all through his video. So they said the uh, you know they said the camera person was observing him and stuff like that. Well, the thing is that. Um, one of the neat little things about a lot of these telekinesis videos um, is that they're is um, is that they're actually um, is that they have music on them and stuff like that. And because of that, any side wheel effect video which has a uh, which has music on it or stuff like that, you've got to be careful of because of the fact that um, well, side wheel in, uh, videos and tinfoil videos in general you have to be careful of. Um, but that being aside, the main thing is is that with um, with things like this. Um, you ha one of the reasons you have to be careful with a lot of these videos is because of the fact that, um, particularly with the ones with music, is that it could cover up any sound effects of people cheating, like blowing or what have you. Um, and if you didn't hear me blow on that particular clip, uh, or see me blow when I did that side wheel there, well then my question is this to you. I did exactly the same sort of thing that could have been that was done on that side wheel video, uh, sorry, done on that tinfoil video because the you know the tinfoil moves, and I did it with the. Um, and uh, I did it like all the other side wheel videos out there, which don't have a, um, uh, which don't ha uh, uh, considerably faster, mind you. But I did it uh, a lot better than uh, than most of those side wheel videos out there. So the question is, are you going to believe? Uh, are you going to believe my explanation that I use trickery, or are you going to believe that um, that uh, because you couldn't hear me blowing or what have you, or you couldn't see uh, any sort of trickery on my part? Are you going to believe that I'm some sort of uh, telekinetic genius? If you believe I'm a telekinetic, uh, if you believe I have super telekinetic powers, then I invite you to comment below and worship me as your next messiah. I invite, yes, I seriously invite you. If you actually believe that I have telekinetic capabilities at that level, you know, uh, and are, you know, and you're still, if you're still a radical believer and you refuse uh, to believe that I use trickery here, or that it's more likely that trickery was used in a lot of these cases and therefore demands tighter controls to prove that they're not using trickery, um, if you're 
if you're willing to, if you're not willing to believe that, and you still believe that there was genuine telekinesis in there somewhere, um, then what I want you to do is because of the fact that I moved it so fast, I obviously must be really good at this, and therefore I must also have so, uh, psionic capabilities of other sorts. So therefore, I um, therefore uh, you know at at psychic at super high I uh, you know messiah messianic uh, you know messianic levels. So therefore, I invite you to worship me as your new upcoming messiah, as the second coming of Jesus Christ. If you are a critical-minded person or someone who actually is open-minded to un, uh, to interpret new evidence. Um, you know, and uh, amongst the believers' side, then I invite you to uh, honestly realize that psi wheels are either, at least most of these videos here, are either based on trickery or application of natural physics, i.e. heat from the hands, um, in some cases static electricity, depending on what you're using. Um, again, moving cups too is a static electricity effect, or string through it. Again, like I said, it's either trickery or application of natural physics, depending on which, uh, depending on which variation you're using. So, again, either believe that I'm with trickery, or comment here below and, wor and worship me as the new messiah. It's your choice, okay? Because if because uh, uh, if you don't believe that I'm uh, if you won't uh, if you uh, are gonna reply like oh you know but it's all real or what have you, then I'm gonna say you know what? Well then in that case my performance was better than most of the side wheel videos you get here online. Therefore I should be the most tele advanced telekinetic on YouTube and I should be worshipped as a messiah. That's my only reply to you. Uh, if not. Um, I've already demonstrated the uh, process of how trickery is used in this particular case, or how nat natural application can be used just by putting your hand near it and the uh, and the uh, hand moving it a little bit. Here, let me show you. See, I already happen to have my hand near it. Let me move it here. Move it back into view. I stick my hand near it, and see, it's already moving to a certain extent. It's wobbling a little bit, so. And then when I take my hand away, it just started to move again. You see, the thing, of course, is okay. But anyway, you get my point. If um, if I'm not a magician, and if it, and if this is not a trick, uh, if this is not a trick, like uh, like a lot of you people out there are claiming to believe, or if this is not a natural natural application of physics, then by uh, the next logical conclusion is that this is telekinesis, and I am some sort of messianic figure, and you should all be worshiping me as the second coming of Jesus Christ. And I keep repeating this to stress into you guys that yes, this is a trick. Okay? Psi wheel movement is a trick. There have been a great number of videos of stuff under glass. A lot of it is from the heat of the hands, okay? When it isn't trickery, it's a natural application of physics. Psi wheel is not a useful demonstration of telekinetic capabilities. Now, I have, on the other hand, now in terms now, in terms of actual telekinetic research. I have suggested to a guy named Godspeed09 a couple of ways that he could tighten the replications on uh, that he could tighten control on a couple of his videos and make newer videos of some of his older effects. If they are genuinely telekinetic, and if he has abided by the controls that I've already suggested for him, then I will look at those videos and then forward you the links to those videos as possible demonstrations of telekinesis. But that's an if and only if he actually works with the Titan controls. Are you on class? No. So you're on So, basically, you get the idea, okay? Okay. Yeah, just temporarily. I have to pick up my textbook for Saif this weekend. Do you have um, our No, tomorrow night. Okay. Anyway, you guys get the idea. Um, here's another telekinetic effect for you. With a, well, I have one minute of film left. I can't use the phone until you're done. Why? Because I can. Okay, then I'll try to whisper, okay? Can you wait for a few minutes? Okay, fine. I'll do my next video clip where I de uh, debug the rest of it later.